So with the, uh, the planting design here, what we wanted to do is keep a, a fairly regional palette, a lot of uh, ornamental grasses. Some of these grasses will yellow up a little bit in the, in the dry season to sort of mimic the hills some. And um, the approach we came up with was uh, for the areas inside of the, uh, the walkways and fairly adjacent to the house, we, we kept the planting more or less on a grid uh, to mimic sort of the architecture and the hardscape design. And then as we got outside of the paved areas and further away from the house, the, uh, the plants get more of a naturalistic feel. Uh, we have these sort of semi-diagonal swaths of lavenders and grasses that repeat going around, but it's a fairly naturalistic uh, style as opposed to more of an architectural style on the inside. So on here we have uh, several different species of uh, grasses. We have the, uh, the blue oak grass, we have the uh, atlas fescue, we have the, uh, the Elijah blue uh, small fescue, and then we uh, have it interspersed with some kangaroo paws, which when they're blooming uh, seasonally will be quite interesting. Uh, it'll really play off the modern architecture. In addition to that, we have uh, spotted a few upright manzanitas, which over time will become sculptural elements. And um, we also have dotted throughout uh, a red formium, which will sort of have a firework effect, sort of a nice uh, emphatic point at various junctions in the path.